can't say it's can't stress enough. Have a better laning stage this game, guys. And it's not even just hero picks here. It's got to be play. Right. They need to make some really good moves around the map. And I think that, in a way, this Vanguard anti-mage that we're anticipating seeing from Watson will have a lot of strength and even more strength than he normally would by having this iron shell on him, able to run in, do some solid stuff. Uh, but the question mark is going to be, do they feel like they're in a position where they can even do that, you know? Like, are they in a position, and is Entity a team that wants to fight with Anti-Mage? Because we haven't seen them decide to do that that much. Watson very much has been like, I need to AFK 1v9 this game almost, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, he just tries where he can, but it's sort of just the nature of the hero, right? Yeah. You do have to farm a lot as an Anti-Mage, you don't have a lot of choices about that. He'll join where he can, so that's where I'm stressing so much about Storm Stormer and Toby need yeah. to have a better game. They right. need to make the space. No, agreed. Um, and that needs to start with a decent laning stage. You know what I wouldn't even mind seeing is like throwing an Iron Shell on the bounty in like the mid game and just go let him farm up some camps for you too to get that level six online as quickly as possible because he really Doing already on Thrawn shield here th this is this is really good if they can run him down doesn't have an orb of venom but still can keep up close they both have uh, the same move speed and he's slowed for a second but they can't do anything else there. still a lot of pressure on the earlier that's what they need to do yeah, for sure. And Drosh is going to have to use this TP there to get all the way back. Teleports is fair, too. You do have a window as a lone druid where you are weaker. I think this is one of the easier lanes for Dark Seers at lower levels right now, because lone druids are so weak at level 1 here. You're not going to pressure them too hard, but you will get to your level 3 quite easily, I think, as yeah. a Dark Seer. This matchup will get harder later on, though, as the lone druid does get levels. So you do have that going for you if you are into it. Yeah. You're going to try and pull waves, I think. Uh... Seller will probably close. pull the other lane to it. I see this move a lot. And then two people just run around with a wave. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Wait, they're yeah. going to connect. Cue the music. Oh, he's blocking the wave with the bear yeah. so they connect. That's good. Beautiful. That's really good. Does get an iron shell on it, but weird stuff, and they just killed the iron shell. Holy shit. All right. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> they're good. <laughs> they're really good. <laughs> Yeah, well, they don't have detection, it looks like, so Katomi will be able to just be annoying here. Oh, they get—they brought it. There it is. Yeah. Oh, they got the viewer, though. Nice. Well, a lot of action in that lane uh, that we can sort of keep uh, our eyes on, but also up top, uh, you can see the other matchup that... Well, um, hold on a second. Are they going to kill uh, Let's Garachi? be real with ourselves. Like, this is going to be a biased cast. You love Darks here. I yeah. love Lone Druid, so we're going to be watching this lane. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, that's the only way it's biased, though, because each of us have, like... Although I think I secretly want Darks here to lose, he's gonna get buffs. Um, oh, I see. Homie, holy shit, Quinn is destroying mid. 11 and 3, and up top, a kill. Fishman goes down, Tofu dies immediately afterwards. Yeah. So there is a lot happening. Uh, everywhere that I look, though, gaming is winning their lanes. Well, that's not good. After having a 25 minute game number one, where they won all three lanes, going into game number two, that doesn't inspire a lot of confidence going on here. But yeah, this mid matchup, I'll, I'll touch on it really quick here. This is something that most Penguins don't like playing against, as you can see. It's very difficult. Sure, I think he's getting outplayed here, but if you can't use a shield crash in the laning stage, it is not easy to play as a Penguin. That's like your main source of trading. And if you can't trade with an Ember, you're not going to win the laning stage. Some good pressure Sellers. down bottom there on the Celery, but will just be forced away after that. Got uh, two waves denied out, or at least like a full wave, roughly, by Toby uh, on the bottom side by pulling it back behind. It still is looking pretty rough. I mean, yeah, 17 and 7, 14 and 4, 14 and 3. AM, the only one that's kind of having a, a decent time, it looks like. Um, it's it's scary. Very scary. I feel like Storm Stormer is just having a rough tournament right now. Yeah. This is a situation where I don't feel like any mid laner should get outplayed in this matchup this hard, unless something catastrophic either happens in the early game, or if you're just having a bad day. And for him, he's been having a bad tournament so far. And it kind of like makes me wonder 
how much is he going to be able to bounce back mentally after a laning stage like this? Yeah. Well, because it also, it happens so quickly, right? I think that there's an element to the DPC where you have a little bit of extra time as Watson and Ace going toe-to-toe -to -toe against each other. You have a little bit of time where you can sort of like recover, you can think about what went wrong, try and come up with new plans. In this group stage, it is two games per day over and over and over and over again. And you can very quickly drop almost completely out of contention uh, if you're not careful. Yeah, for sure. It, it does happen very quickly, as you said. Just like the slaying stage. It was very much so over really quickly for them. As Katomi... Oh, where's the root? Uh, the root. Unlucky. Um, yeah, and... Oh, man. No mana at this point. He's really close to Arcanes on Toby, but not quite there. And in the meantime, everybody for gaming just doing what they want. AM... 20 last hits does have his ring of health getting closer to that vanguard but i can just see the way that this lineup is going to push down towers from gaming gladiators it's going to be scary but wrap around finding stormstormer here do they want to go in with tofu doesn't look like it he's backing yeah. away this is a completely different game from watson as well when they did play against rebellion watson had a great time versus saberlight's nature's prophet but over here ace He's topping the CS. He's 32 and 8 against the 22 and 5 of the Antimage. Antimage isn't getting destroyed by any means, but Ace is free farming. Yeah. Yeah. And the, of course, the... he's going to go for that, probably that Agadims. Interesting to see his build, too. He went two Wraith Bands. Maybe this is the difference to help him lane. If Antimage does go on him, he can just straight up man fight him back. He does a ton. He, he I mean, even if each one of those little hits until that Vanguard comes in is going to be hurting the AM that much more. And. I think this is now Stormstormer not being forced back to base, but uh, at least having a lot of pressure onto him. All these lanes kind of uh, still looking a little bit rough. Quinn in mid does have level six and waiting for that six minute rune. Yeah, they're just going to control the runes here. Stormstormer's in no position to get a rune and his supports aren't even going to try and help him. Yeah, they're just going to deal with the side lanes here. So unfortunately for Stormstormer here, Struggle City does continue here. So let's think of things that we can do for Entity at this point. Okay. It's a little it's a little early in the game, and I don't think there's any rotations that will happen. But I think when you get level five, potentially, on Toby, you can Ion Chill, Katsumi, okay. and he can TP top and maybe kill the NP. Right. That's that's a play that they could use. They're going to need that little extra help. But I think until they do get to that level five ion shell, that might not work. Ooh. But that might be the only play option they have. Is Storm Stormers just... Quinn into mid? Okay, he, going he can't on get to out of this moment. Forcing the rotation from Fishman, and is just going to use that early aggression to force Storm Stormer back to base again. Still level five here at coming up on seven minutes. There is a rotation down. Bottom, oh, let's just celery TPing back in again. And I mean, everywhere you look, they're doing what they need to. But Watson does have the Vanguard now. Uh, and Ace, he's building in towards Tread. So just mass amounts of stats. I mean, look at this NP build, right? Double Wraith Band mm -hmm. as Celery's getting chased around. Double Wraith Band, Magic Wand, Gloves of Haste with a Blight Stone, and now gonna have full Treads coming out soon. But with the Vanguard, Watson feeling that much more strong and doesn't want to get bullied anymore. Bottom. Vacuum used. Nothing gained. It was just to get some CS there. If you keep the lane static right now for Entity, you're not going to get a kill anywhere on the map. Yeah. It's quite literally impossible. Like, there's no way Pango's going to get a kill in top lane. Watson, he's, he he's, he's okay. Eh, just, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Pushing out the wave, farming a little bit, harassing. I think if you're ace, you'll consider going back here and getting your treads available, even more potential. In the mid lane, though, they get Quinn. Quinn? They got him! Oh my god, and Toby gets the kill! Holy moly! Yeah, he had the ion shell. That's what they're laughing about, I think. Toby's like, haha, where'd that money come from? <laughs> Lovely. And eight. Oh my oh. god, he doesn't have a clone blade. Oh, nope. Toby. Oh, bye -bye. Toby. Oh, that's unfortunate. So as I was mentioning, they won't get a kill unless they make rotations, and they did. Yeah. They, they got Quinn. That was a huge kill. 
still down 1k net worth. The net worth lead isn't as bad as last game. The CS looks like it should be more, but it's not. I'm a little surprised by that, actually. It must be on the, the edge of 1,000, close to 2,000. Right, probably. I mean, the other benefit here, at least, is we will see Fishman go down to Quinn just bullying there in the mid lane. Um, is that, you know, even with these kills, they're not missing a ton. They can maybe even try and go on to Duraccio here. But the double fear, and now looking for the chase. The rundown, oh, he the got the root. root. Oh my god. Dude, and now they're in pretty far, and Ace is going to punish. As they find themselves, Katomi, he dies. And, I mean, you know... This is kills happening while Quinn is still farming out mid, everything going their way, and, and Tofu's just getting a free lane to himself up top. Yeah, I mean, Tofu has a free lane, but so does Watson. They're using this NP to get kills across the map. He's getting active. It's not really hurting him too much because he's now jungling. So more than anything, it's an efficiency move because now they're clearing out the jungle. Tofu is getting some creeps in the top lane. He's dragging it around. Is he yeah. just going to pull it to there? Oh, he's denying a wave here from Anti-Mage, too. At least a couple of creeps. This is a, a cute little play. Did he pull it you... around the, the secret shop? Yeah, he did. Yeah. To drag it there. and it's like, I mean, it's a normal play, but normally not at 10 minutes. You don't usually keep doing this type of play. So right. he's just denying a little farm from Anti-Mage, getting his own farm in. Continuing advantage. And Tommy getting chased on by Celery. Well, dead. also, in mid they're finding more kills so yeah katomi dies in the jungle a neutral, denied in the neutral though well we played go. um i was asking about that because i saw 33 doing it but instead he pulled all the way to the hard camp up on that high ground there uh which i thought was really sick uh oh, yeah yeah for more farming efficiency but i guess clockwood could farm that yeah uh, maybe we should tell him let him know that was an efficient <laughs> 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 no, because he denied it away from AM. It's all good. Wall down. Oh, there you go. Celery. Oh, he's getting that amp damage onto him. Good hits, good hits, and Celery goes down. They manage to make a move. And in spite of the gold, like, 2,000 into the lead, uh, you know, kill score relatively even. Things, things looking bad, but not horrifically bad. Like you said, Darkseer yeah. can have an okay bad start to the laning stage and catch back up later. The good news is that the Lone Druid isn't having a great game. Yes. And you do have a game now on Stormstorm. He's participating. He's making moves. He killed Quinn in mid lane with rotations, rotated bottom, got a kill. This is what we want to see from him. We want to see him be able to move across the map, make things happen. And we even got the kill from Toby in the mid lane with the Iron Shell. So he's participating as well. So the laning stage wasn't the greatest from them, but at least they have a game. I feel like they can play this game out. And Anti-Mage, of course, still farming going to be strong in the late game. I think things are okay for Entity right now. You're really not that far ahead if you're gaming. Well, 11 and a half minutes in and still about a thousand gold separating these two teams. They're running in with Fishman and Remnants away. A very interesting interaction there with the Clockwork yeah. Hook. They literally hooked him mid-Remnant. Yeah. So it didn't stun him. So we had a, that brief invulnerability period. Now gets level 6 on Katomi as they hit the level 12 mark. And now Quinn does a little ring around the rosy. Doesn't find anybody. Kills Fishman on Tofu. And maybe going to look for this tower now. Uh, they have track online, but they need heroes. They need bodies. And I don't think that they're going to get them in time. This tower is done. Because they're also pressuring the other side. And the root down bottom, they find Toby. He's forced to surge away. Yeah. I mean, Toby is just going to farm until he gets more levels, right? Just Darks here. I think his yeah. levels are pretty okay for the moment. He has everything that he needs. I think now would be the time you might want to play with the Bounty Hunter. Yeah. If you are the Darks here. They need, uh... I think they need Stormstormer, though. And he had to use that roll already. But Root yeah. up top. Watson running into Quint. Burning all the mana. Gets the jump away. TP rotation come in. Katomi. Iron Shell on him. Waiting. Burning. Burning through the Flame Guard. Flame Guard gone. Yeah, so oh, he has 20 stick on Ember. Never mind. Yeah. A little bit scary. They bring right, numbers, he revealed himself now. It's not going to work. So running around with the Iron Shell is fine, but it's just as you said. You're going to need Stormstormer to join, but I think he's more focused right now on finishing his defusal. I that think currently the pace of the game is fine for Entity. You do have... 
a greedier lineup. I feel like with the Anti-Mage, with the Darkseer, into the late game, I'm sure they're quite comfortable here. So, the pace is fine. Instead of unnecessarily trying to make a play that might not work, or gaming can turn, because they do have the Undying, NP can come in at any single moment there. It might be a situation where, if you get too aggressive, you could get punished for it. So right. they don't want to get in that situation. They want to let Anti-Mage do his thing. This is a hero Ooh. that wants to just hit creeps. Smoke up. Wanting to make a move now. Quinn gets hit by that track. Just stands in place. Stormstormer ends up not being able All to right. get anything with this roll. And in fact, All the, the hook. shot to break the TP. Oh! Tofu with the big plays makes that move over. And Toby, he needs to get this haste in time. But the Quinn stolen got it. away bottle by Quinn. Oh, man. Love yeah, that, the, that The slight that rune snatches. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, you don't have to make that play if you're Entity. The result of Storm Stormer hitting neutrals there would have been better than him trying to do anything. Because him trying to do something just got him killed. Yeah. That, that play was very strange to begin with. But it doesn't seem like they're... They want to do something, but they don't know how to do it. So it ends up in a play like that. Where you kind of go in and you're just like, uh... Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Then you get punished. Mm. Even furthermore, delaying the Diffusal Blade here. So I personally just... If I'm on Entity, I just say, Stormstormer, do your thing. Tell us when you want to make a play. Because that did not look like something Stormstormer wanted to do himself. Well, Fishman steals away the cogs. But Katomi now also in some trouble. They're both tracked up, but you're not finding kills. And in fact, the hookshot catches the courier. They catch the hero too. Stormstormer moves in close, starts to burn out some damage there. But doesn't have the full defusal blade done and then runs into the cogs, doesn't connect home. Oh, no. <laughs> just teepees out right in front of him. Watson does show up for this fight, burning all of the mana, trying to find celery for the kill, and they will get him. But Quinn, Quinn is going to escape. And in fact, Quinn, is he thinking about going back in? This guy's crazy. It's Quinn, man. He, he likes to be annoying on these type of heroes. He just wants to always be in your face, spamming the slide of fist, making you feel uncomfortable. He's well, quite good at it. I, I think uh, there are some really interesting things going on in this game. And Watson almost having Battle Fury done is definitely a good sign. Um, if they can keep these towers alive, maybe you can get to that late game scenario. Pango almost has Diffusal Blade done. The other thing is that in order to keep these towers alive longer, Toby's finished off the Crimson Guard. Uh, I think against this lineup has a lot of value. Slight spam, treants, uh, lone druid stuff, the tombstone zombies, cool things. That is interesting, yeah. I, I don't hate it, for sure. The other option was probably Greaves, right? Yeah. Which is pretty good as well, because you can take off the chains. So that's probably next on the agenda for him. Right. I mean, difference of about like three, uh, 2,000 gold in terms of uh, cost at least so there's like uh, 1400 or whatever so get it a little bit quicker but oh my god it's happening they're doing it Toby's leaving the bottom lane it's amazing <laughs> almost unheard of let's can... see what they can do with it oh uh, they didn't have ulti from celery to make this Roche go down quicker and because of that uh, they're gonna be here in time Hookshot goes in, finds the Rubik. Fishman needs to get him away from him, but the roll connects onto one. These track kills could be huge. Toby trying to keep alive Fishman. The cogs are down, catches him there to the side as the rest back away. Keeping eyes, Toby low, or Tofu, excuse me. And they manage to get that kill. All right, yeah, I mean, Toby entered the game. Good things happened. They're stopping the Roche. Roche is pretty low right now, like one third of HP. A little bit scary here for gaming. Gaming thought they could force the Roche on, but oh, we're sorely we're mistaken. Uh, Crimson popped, but it wasn't enough to keep Katomi alive. And the buyback comes out. Yeah, they, they don't want to give this one up. Yeah. I, I don't think they should either. They're in a good spot right now. Watson does have Battle Fury. If they just play around the Roche pit here, as four heroes while Watson farms nearby, this is a good situation for Entity. And I think at this point, gaming... All right, never mind. They're going in. Rooted. That's the Axe reveal. Watson runs in. Oh, getting him caught for the moment. Backing back onto two. Not a ton of mana at the moment. And dropping low. Watson dies. They lose Toby. That fight went about as bad as it could have. 
As I was saying, they should have just lingered around the pit without <laughs> trying to make something happen. I'm not sure why why are you over there on Storm Stormer? Like, what are you accomplishing? He was like, just got caught by himself pretty much by then. Maybe he just didn't expect the root from the NP. It is quite annoying. He has known this has been in the game for some time, but that advantage that they did build, and I was going to say they're punishing gaming gladiators by them doing that Roshan and forcing them to stay near this Roshan. But them dying there and giving over the carry kill plus three other kills into the Roshan, now potentially into a tier two. Mm. Uh, it couldn't have gone much worse, unfortunately, for Intiddy. Yeah, it could have gone a lot better, though. It definitely <laughs> could have. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. And Duraccio gonna run his bear back in. We'll get Defusal. Yeah, bet his bear there. Yeah, I think that they might actually have this one. So that does go down. And Root he has down. no mana because he got hit by the <laughs> the fusel blade, so he can't even summon a new bear and get God. that on the cooldown. That is so sad. Quinn, give watch me a that bottle. sad bear. W watch him walk around. Just please Aww. give me mana. <laughs> it's a uh, it's it's the eagle bear or something, isn't it? Isn't that what that is? An I, it's something like that, or an owl. I'm... Owl. That's the one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. There you go, mana boots. Yay! Nailed it. We have a bear now. Bears happy. But this this is a timing though. Like unironically as much as I'll meme about that. He has only one bear for two minutes now. Okay. So this Aegis kind of doesn't matter. And at what point, if you're entity, do you want to start taking advantage of timings? Because sometimes when there is an opening available, doesn't mean you have to take it. At some point you do have to take those openings, and you have to pick and choose as a player when you're gonna take the openings available to you. And I think right now, if you're Anti-Mage, he's gonna let this one pass by. So, but that's the problem with Anti-Mage, right? He lets a lot of openings pass by because he needs that one more item. Right. Hopefully that's not really the case here. And he gets active around the time this Aegis expires. So, Balls in Gaming Gladiator's Court. What do they want to do with this Aegis? Maybe get a tier two, I would imagine. I could see that uh, being a pretty strong window for them. They also have like these sort of uh, really good aura carriers right now that always feel like they set up for you to have a really good game. Tofu's had such a good game that he has a pipe all the way completed. Um, and then they also, of course, almost have the mech done on a dying too. And, you know, with those things done, their team fight is already really hard to deal with. They've got a great lockdown, they've got good damage. That tier two top is going to go down. And with 30 seconds until uh, the bear, second bear is back up and ready to go, it could be in some trouble here. Quinn? And Tofu is such an underrated player. Yeah. Every time I see this guy, he doesn't do the fancy things. Like, he doesn't build the Aghanims and make the huge plays. He builds for the team. I always see right. this guy's inventory. He's just got some supportive item. He does what the team needs of him while consistently performing well. He doesn't yeah. play for glory. He just plays for the W. And I respect that. I like it. Not a match, match MVP, but the MVP of our hearts. Yep. He makes the others MVP because he consistently makes them win. There. A true support. True support. Uh, Well, they're going to need to get some damn kills on Entity. Because otherwise, this bounty hunter track is not going to be doing anything. The root and... hit after the blink. Interesting. Ooh. Look shot a little off the mark right after we're praising him. Love to see that. <laughs> I mean, he was tracked, so yeah, it's fair. they could see that coming from a mile away. Storm Stormer backs away. Doesn't feel comfortable going for that wave, but with that wave gone, I mean, they're going to go make uh -oh. some space, and Storm Stormer dead. Sometimes space is just death, and now with the wave there at mid, it's another tier two tower going to be taken. Uh, they do manage to take bottom. Watson clears that one out, but... Man, feels real rough to be Entity right about now. Even rougher for Entity's base here in a second, as we do have Lone Druid with a Desolator. Oh, the Crimson Guard, though. Yeah. This is a. He saw into the future that this push was coming, and it's well, going to slow it down, but it's not going to stop it. it. It it really doesn't feel like it matters that much. Level three vacuum feels okay, man. Uh, and <laughs> Ember's just going to kill it all. Yep, yeah, they're all gone. Uh, this is part of the appeal done. of Lone Druid too, right? Like, yeah. you can't make an illusion of the bear, just right. the hero. And this illusion is not very strong, as you can see it hitting. <laughs> yeah, it's doing Not nothing. really bothered by it. Well, 23 minutes in, mid-rack's gone. Yet again in a situation 
what can we do if we're Entity? And there are things we can do, for sure, if we're Entity. However, Stormstormer's dying too much. He's just... Yeah. The reason they can't do anything is because he's dead. He gets picked off there, which it's not easy. He's playing against Double Root and the NP ult with the Agonims. He's playing versus the Ember Spirit. So if he does get caught with one root, he's probably getting perma root, but he's going for Toku. This man has a pipe throw, Ooh. and he might get knocked down. Yeah, doing a... Oh my god, he hooks to his team, and he gets out. Yikes. Oh, yeah. He also has drums now, too, almost since the boots are bearing. Wow. Committing mm -hmm. to just being a complete aura. He's doing a really good job. This entire team from Gaming Gladiators, they're picking their perfect moments to go on in. Uh, they're itemizing to cover each other's bases, to cover each other's weaknesses, and just making the solid moves. And they're closing out this game exactly the way that they need to. Uh, looking now for this bottom tier 2 tower... I, I mean, I feel like if they wanted to, they could have gone for, like, top racks, but it maybe is, like, one of those things where you maybe lose a hero or two. And I think the fact that Entity has been stuck on six kills for... I don't even know how long it's been now. It, it's been a real... What was the last kill that they had? <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's a great question. When is the last... It's, it's been a very long time. It was around 17 minutes. So, yeah. We're, we're, we're coming close to a 10 minute mark with no kills on a track lineup for Bounty Hunter. You want to hear the positive things that are going for Entity right now? Yeah. 25 minutes just hit. So Watson bought a double Wraith Band. Let's go. <laughs> it's time. They have Stormstormer rolling on in. The wall onto Tofu. Not really what they were hoping for there. And Anti-Mage immediately gone. dead. Tofu not even going to fall. The mech comes from the Undying. This game is over. Uh, yep. Gaming Gladiators completely dismantle Entity in back-to-back 25-minute -back games. Now can I say it? I was a little premature game number one. Gaming Gladiators completely outpicking and outplaying Entity in this series. Yeah. <laughs> Two 25-minute games here. Holy moly. They just have their number. I feel like this just happens against them. Yeah. I, it was a bit of a bull. It was outplay, outclassed, outdraft. There's